Crap. They beat me to the McDonald's hot coffee lawsuit. Okay. I'll wait a few months and then upload it. Ah, they did the coffee spill too! Should have uploaded it the moment I finished editing. Wouldn't have gotten any views, but at least it wouldn't look like I was copying anyone. It's frustrating to find that someone beat you to a good idea. And it's a hundred times worse when you have a finished product that you just sat on way too long. And someone else released their version first. Every time I finish editing, I won't even begin uploading, and I'll find myself worrying about what I'm going to do next. I go into writing mode, even though I have no idea what to write, and I already have a stockpile of stuff already written, and a stockpile of finished videos, and a collection of topics and series to do. I'm still, for some reason, racking my brain to add even more ideas. I have a lot of anxiety about running out of topics. I obsess about it to the point that it's to my own detriment. <sighs> in this case, I have the video done. And in less than three months, two much larger channels did videos about the hot coffee lawsuit. On the internet, content is king. It doesn't matter if you're a blogger or vlogger, Content is a thing that draws people. Readers and viewers say they want original content, which helps, but good content is better, and good often means starting with a recognizable subject. Recognizable and interesting are kind of a chicken and egg thing. It's hard to know what comes first, but it's the reason why creators choose known topics. Picking a topic that very few people know about often means that there is very little interest. Little interest means no views. Similar topics are just the reality of being a creator. It really isn't surprising that the sheer number of creators means that there is going to be content overlap. It's just unavoidable. Which is kind of a problem because even looking like you're copying someone else can have very negative effects. Even if you put your own spin on it, releasing something on the same topic too soon after someone else will be seen as being a copycat, at least to some viewers. There are levels to acceptable similarity. There's following a trend like heating up chunks of metal and burning random objects with it, crushing stuff with a hydraulic press, or doing some random challenge. Following the trend is okay, as long as you join early on. If you join late, you're just lame. And then there's doing the same topic too soon after someone else. At worst, it's just frowned upon because viewers want new and different. A large number of people release videos about the same topics, all really close to each other. It's boring. And there's nothing wrong with doing similar or same topics, but some people see it as cashing in on other people's fame and popularity, especially if the second person to post has less followers than the first. And there are people who do try to siphon off the more popular personalities, but that is actually a rarity. Most people want to be original themselves. They want people to follow them for being them. But that does bring us to plagiarism. A word-for-word -word copy of a single sentence without giving credit can be a crime. If it's just a sentence or two, it's often resolved by a simple rewrite that probably should have been done in the first place. Anything beyond that and you're getting into legal battles and financial compensation. So in the long run, it's really worth the effort to find your own material. The thing about plagiarism is, even the most diligent people who are striving to be original themselves can end up inadvertently plagiarizing. You can encounter an idea, whether it's seeing it, reading it, or hearing it, forget the entire experience, and end up recreating that idea sometime later. 
believing wholeheartedly that it is your own original idea. It's called cryptomnesia, a memory that is not recognized as a memory. What causes it? There's a number of reasons. Mostly it boils down to just not paying attention during the brainstorming end of it, mostly. I only mention it as a warning that it can happen to anyone. You might not care if people think you're copying, but being caught plagiarizing or just being labeled a plagiarizer has ended the careers of authors, speechwriters, and comedians. Because viewers and readers do care, and they will boycott plagiarizers because they feel lied to and cheated. Some will even think about how unfair it is to the original creator. Now that several months have gone by and I've written something else and filmed it, I'm going to work on a thumbnail for that McDonald's hot coffee lawsuit video so I can upload it in a, another couple of months. And then I'll write a video about how the song Yankee Doodle Dandy is a degrading slur at Americans. Thanks for watching and good luck. Well, damn. To subscribe, click the channel icon on the top left. Top right is the previous video. And below that is a random suggestion from YouTube. Thanks again.